to stop by the A-Logic booth every year because these products are practical and useful. And uh, I'm here yet again with Pratik Kumar. And what have you got for us this year? Thanks, Alison. Appreciate that. Uh, we've got a few new things this year. Uh, let's start with our 10-in-1 dual USB-C super hub. Why we call it so is uh, this is one of its kind uh, USB-C hub with dual input and a magnetic latch in between. The reason why I'm going to describe some of it for the audio listeners. He's got a, a hub in his hand that's got two cables coming out of it. Both of them are USB-C. They're they're holding on to each other with magnets, so you can pull them apart or have them exactly. cleanly together. Yeah. So you plug both of those into your laptop? Um, see, that's the idea. So it gives you so you plug it both of them in when you need to. Say so if you're using it with a Mac, a, a problem with a Mac in a way is uh, when you use only one connector, like most of the hubs have. You can only output one audio video at one time, so you could only have one display running at one time. But a lot of people, as you'd realize now, wants to want to run multiple displays, especially two displays, so they can have that extended window set up where they could have multiple applications running on different displays. And this is what it lets us enable at a really uh, reasonable cost. So when you plug in both the connectors, and this is specially designed for a Mac, the distance between the two connectors are specially designed for a Mac, it lets you enable two monitors in extended mode via the two HDMI ports. Nice. But say if you have an iPad Pro, that is, sorry. But say if an iPad Pro, which only has one USB-C, and say you're on the go, you have to give a presentation, you want to connect to a projector, you just release the latch, you connect the main connector to the iPad Pro, and you still have, you can connect it to either of the HDMI ports, and you have the projector going. Say if you have a Windows laptop, or it's a shared environment in an office where it's a hot desking setup, where multiple people use the same desk on a day-to-day -day basis, depending on they have got a Windows laptop or a Mac, they could still have a dual screen setup without trying to figure out a different hub or a different dock for their device. That is nicely slick, and it's also got a, uh, it's got USB-C pass-through for power, I imagine? Exactly. So in fact, this is the new generation of uh, power delivery called oh, Power is. Delivery 3.0, so this does both data and charging. And we've got another USB-C for just data as well, a couple of USB-A ports, audio out, card reader, and on this SD card and micro SD and Ethernet. And wow. Ethernet. Yeah, so exactly. That is so. a lot packed into that package. Exactly. So we have loaded up with pretty much anything a power user would need. So this is definitely designed around a power user who uses multiple devices, even phones. So you can connect it to a USB C phone. Like if you connect it to a Samsung, it will support Samsung DeX. So okay. it will still support the desktop mode that Samsung enables. So yeah, that it is enables. a nice device. And so what's this one called? It's called the 10 in 1 Super Hub. 10 in 1 Super Hub, and uh, is that on the market yet? Uh, it will be launching next month. So, okay. yeah, do you so have end, a price of, end of Feb. Uh, 119 US dollars. 119. Yeah. That's actually not bad for that, that, that many parts yeah, for exactly. a Super Hub. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> now, as always, we always try and sort of innovate, but keeping that cost in mind. So it's very important to make keep the price point realistic. You guys get a, a medium point where it's it's classy exactly. and good looking stuff, but doesn't cost you a, a kidney. Exactly, that's the idea. See, we pay a lot of attention of industrial design as well. At the end of the day, technology now is a part of your lifestyle. Yeah. You'll see that we have in most of our products that you will see, we have used sort of metal with so soft touch aluminum. plastic. Yeah. Exactly. You always try and uh, you see uh, other products or other brands that do hubs and, and chargers and other sort of power banks that like us, but they usually go all metal or plastic because yeah. it's easier to do it like that actually. But you'll see this the, is pretty. Yeah, and it, it, it is very and, and utilitarian as well because the soft touch, when you hold it in your hand, it gives you the feeling of warmth and that cozy feeling. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel like you're holding just really hard metal. So right. yeah, you'll see that across the board. Okay. This now, is something I'm we, noticing some fabric covered things yes, here. Exactly. So this is something we, we showed last year as well, but this is the new version of the dock wave that we showed last year. The dock wave it's called? Yeah, the dock wave. So why we call it the dock wave is this is a three-in-one device. So this has a USB-C hub and a power bank and a wireless charger all three-in-one together. Oh, wow. And so this is a single USB-C in and then you've got a USB-C, two USB-A, you've got a couple of card readers there, the one HDMI, and uh, what's that on the other? Oh, that's, that, that's usually the power, the power charge. Bank, and if you double press it, it switches on wireless charging and all you do is slap your phone on it. And it just oh, to check that out. That's beautiful. So, now I can I, the, for the audio listeners, what they didn't see was that Steve had to reach out and touch it as he's recording the video here. But that because it's a beautiful gray fabric. 
That's pretty neat. So that's the Dock Wave three in one. Exactly. And, and uh, so that does charging and. Um, uh, the wireless charging ha is a hub and it's a battery oh, pack. Yeah, wow. exactly. So it's showing an action there with the with the MacBook Air. And Very nice. Yeah, so if and you're working, so you don't need to plug out a separate cable, all you do is need to switch it on and place your phone on top. Now, unlike a lot of these, usually when I set my phone down, it takes a while to find the right spot. But either you're really good at it, or that's got a good uh, good coil. It seems to find it. Have you there's, been practicing? Uh, there has, and there's, there's both to it. <laughs> there's definitely a, a good coil to it. And all Qi certified that you will see. Yeah. So Qi certification means that it has passed through the strict regulations of WPC, been okay. tested by their lab, and all our products have that. So you'll see the Qi logo. Oh, so you okay. can only use okay. the Qi logo once it has passed through the WPC certification program. Nice. So, how much? Uh, let's see. Is this available yet? The uh, the yeah. Dockwave yes, three. Yes, this is available. Uh, Ninety nine US dollars. That's fantastic. That is really nice. Yeah. Not carrying a lot of difference. If anything else uh, important we need to see here uh, before we yeah, uh, finish sure. up. Uh, oh, this is, oh, this is the one I saw the picture of. That's yeah, so the one I want to look really at here. This is uh, this is really new. So this, so, is this for the audio list. Exactly. So this is a three in one device. It charges Apple Watch an iPhone and an AirPod, all three together. This is meant for sort of a bedside setup where you want to remove the clutter, have a clean, nice and clean bedside if you're especially in the Apple ecosystem. It charges by just one USB-C cable. So you, at night when you're going to bed, you slap your phone on it. If you have one of those wireless charging AirPods, you keep it here, your watch goes here. In the morning, everything is charged up and ready to go. So you've combined the two, the coils for the AirPods and the uh, and yeah. the phone. Can exactly. they be in either spot or? It can be at either spot. Okay. And what we're looking at looks like it's not that much bigger than your phone. Then you've got a uh, you've got the the giant iPhone, exactly. right? Yeah, the Max. Exactly. And uh, so it looks about the size of that. It's got a gray covering. This is really simple and beautiful design. That is a gorgeous piece of hardware. Exactly. So, so that's the called the Ultra Power Three in One Charging Dock, exactly. wireless charging yep. dock. So the idea again was to keep the footprint small yeah. and again use fabric to blend in with your house. We don't want it to stick out particularly. We want it to blend in with how you want to design and keep the aesthetics yeah. of your house and home. It's really classy looking. So uh, is this available yet? Uh, this will be available from March onwards okay. and uh, the cost will be $109 US. That's not bad again. And by the way, my birthday is in April. Okay. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Steve over here. <laughs> I mean, I can be talking to you if you want me to. <laughs> Message received. <laughs> Anything else? We're about out of time here. Uh, you know, like just a couple of bigger docks for more power users for uh, okay. a Thunderbolt dock. If you're a Mac or a Windows user, you want to display a couple of diff two different displays at 4K at 60 hertz. So this is especially designed around a really power user who wants to display two big monitors at high resolution, a graphic designer or, a, you know, someone working in design and production and wants to just plug one cable, have the devices ready to go, charging your device at 85 watts of power. So. Yeah, this is really good for uh, someone who is working and who works in video editing and needs just a really big wide space okay. to real estate with bigger monitors. And that's the prime docking station with USB-C, and then you've got the uh, triple display yeah, exactly. hybrid so, pro. Yeah, oh people my. who need more, oh, so they've got a on. triple. <laughs> come on, now you guys are just fooling around, Pratik. No, no, no. I'm looking at the back people. of this thing. I see. Three full-size uh, display port, three HDMI. So you can choose between the two depending upon what cable and monitors you need. So you're doing three total, not yeah, six. Three, no, three total, yeah. So you can choose between the either of the two. Okay. Yeah. And Ethernet, a couple USB. Uh, yeah. Even you know, I don't even need this, and I think I need a lot. That is <laughs> that is bananas. So that's a triple display hybrid pro. Yep. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. What are those little tiny square uh, gray covered? Oh, this is just a standard charging pad. There's um, nothing out of the ordinary with them. This is a 10 watt charging pad. So but Qi what, charging again. Yeah, exactly. Qi charging. What we're going to show was how we have designed a family of products that go all together. Right. So, and they're meant for being at different places in your house. So this is sort of meant to be in a more sort of shared space in your house, okay. sort of in a living room where you could be charging two devices wirelessly and two devices by cable where your kids are around, your guests come over. Oh. So, you know, you want to remove all that clutter. Just That's one adapter, this device on your sort of kitchen bench or on your TV unit, and, you know, someone asks for a cable, just go slap your phone on it. Or if your kids want to charge their Nintendo Switch or iPads, you've got two cables for that as well. 
Wow. That this is, is again, more also a personal pretty. device. This is a more of a personal device you share. Or, or keep it on your table. This is for more bedside table. And this is, as I said, more of a living room thing. Wow. I, I love all of this. This is beautiful stuff. This is fantastic. So if people want to learn more about these products and see them for themselves, where would they go? Uh, they go to our website, uh, www.alogic.co. So it's just .co. And yeah, get in touch with us if you need anything and yeah, we'll appreciate all the time and effort from your side. Thank very you. good, very good. Always fun.